Veteran Salute, sponsored by Devon James Injury Lawyers. Wednesday nights are time for our weekly segment, Veteran Salute. It's our chance to honor heroes from our area and thank them for their service. This week, we honor Larry Rinker from Topeka, who enlisted in the Army in 1967. I ended up at uh, Army Security Agency. They had a separate recruiting on the other side of town. At that time, I was in Omaha. They gave me a book to look through and read. I uh, read it overnight, took it back the next day, and I said, well, this looks pretty good. And the main problem was that you had to have a top secret clearance in order to actually be in the Army Security Agency. So everybody sweated that out because it took about six to nine months to have them do all the background that's necessary. I went to Fort Leonard Wood for my basic. Then after that, I went to school. Uh, I went to Fort Devens in Massachusetts because I had requested uh, cryptanalysis school. A cryptanalyst is a person who break, is a code breaker. And of course, you go to school to learn how to do that. Once I graduated, they let you fill out what we called a dream sheet. Basically, you would name three places overseas where you would like to go, number one, two, and three. And then you would name three places in the states where you would like to go, one, two, and three. And what they tried to do was to send you to one of those six. So I, I volunteered for Shemia. <laughs> Since it was a hardship to her, they said, well, if this guy's nuts enough to want to go there, we'll send him. <laughs> and so that's where I did my hardship to her. Shemia, it was um, pretty much a, a barren a grassland, if you will. During World War II, the Americans came in and they put 20,000 troops, at least that's what I was told, on Shemia. During World War II, there was combat troops. Uh, we weren't combat troops. The only thing that was on that island was the Army Security Agency and the Air Force. Most of what I did, of course, was classified, top secret crypto access. So my job was to analyze any traffic uh, that we looked at. After Chemia, I went to Bad Abelin, Germany much more pleasant. <laughs> uh, I was able to um, bring my wife over as well. In fact, we, our first was born there, our daughter. She was born in Munich. The reason why I went into the service is because I knew a draft was coming. But I found that the, the work that I did, I enjoyed. It was, it was really worthwhile. I felt, oh, I was proud of what I did. Uh, I was proud of being in the Army Security Agency. Now, after leaving the service, Larry went back to college and got his MBA. He was hired as an auditor for First National Bank in Topeka and then went to work for Santa Fe Railway for eight years. He then became an auditor for Blue Cross Blue Shield of Kansas and retired from there. We highlight veterans in our community every week, just like Larry. So if you know someone we could feature in this segment, please check the Veteran Salute section at KSNT.com. Plus, sharing their story isn't the only way we honor these heroes, because each week the featured vet receives a gift. Take a look. On behalf of Devon James Injury Lawyers, we're honored to recognize this week's veteran who served our country in the United States Army, Staff Sergeant Larry Rinker. Thank you so much for your service, sir. Well, thank you. And thank you for especially welcoming those back from Vietnam. Veteran Salute, sponsored by Devon James Injury Lawyers.